All right, so this is basically what we're doing here is we're going through all the lighting. We get a lot of light fixtures like this. And uh, someone bought it from somebody that looks like they did install it because the, uh, the ends here are a little twisted and crimped up. So you can kind of figure that somebody did actually use that. So our buddy uh, Dusty, who's an electrical engineer, designed this cool little test station for me. So I can just plug the alligator clips in, hit the switch, and as you can see, this thing works just fine. It's brand new. It's a nice light fixture. And then what we do is we literally just look it up. So I'm going to scan it right on their website. we got the barcode right here. Scanning that. You can see right there. $85.98. So this is an $86 light at Lowe's. So we'll price this at like 60 bucks and um, we'll put it up at our sale. It's fully tested. It's actually kind of a cool light, but that's what we do here. We tested out some other ones. This one said loose wire. I thought, you know, it sounded stupid. It's probably not true. Um, it's true. It doesn't work. I'm sure it can be fixed. But a lot of times this stuff's just not worth fixing. It's too much effort. So right here we got another light. Alan and Roth, this thing. We looked it up already. $89.98 online. So we're going to price this at $60. But the first thing we got to do is we got to test it. So we go through, and we already went through all these and searched for broken glass. We threw away all the busted glass. So we're going to pull this out. Just make sure it works. ever touched. But whenever we see the the ends of the, the wire are crimped or twisted at all, a lot of times it's from the factory, but we still got to just make sure. I can't get a light bulb in. I got a light bulb in. Hooked up to the box. Thanks again, Dusty. Appreciate you, and it works. So it's a ninety-dollar light. It's brand new. A lot of times people will buy these things, and and they'll kind of grab it. And husband or wife will get home, they'll see it, they don't like it, they'll return it. Um, we've had instances ourselves where um, you know a fan, somebody thinks that a fifty-two-inch fan is the right size for the living room, but then they go through it and they're like, ah, that's a little bit big. So this thing was never removed from the plastic. They just pulled it out of the box, and it wasn't quite what they were expecting. And, uh, and so they returned it, but it's still brand spanking new. And it is actually quite expensive. So we got everything, we got the light bulbs, the manuals. The only thing here, the box doesn't look pretty. So whoever buys this is gonna save 30 bucks for having uh, an ugly looking box. And, um, so let's get really monotonous going through all these light fixtures. It's kind of a cool little mini pendant. Got some frosted glass. There's 65 bucks in the store. And uh, we already got it hooked up. Hit the button. Everything's good. Glass is not cracked. A lot of times uh, they're just for job sites. They're purchased. They're returned. Um, and a lot of times actually if the box is damaged in the store, they won't sell it. So if this box was sitting on a shelf like this and somebody opened it just to look through it, you'll actually pull it off the shelves eventually. I mean, it'll sit there, you see some stuff that's got damaged on the boxes, but eventually they'll just pull them right off the shelf and liquidate it because um, they're not gonna sell it. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna sit on that shelf and people are gonna just keep opening up new ones. They're gonna pull the ones from behind it, behind it, behind it, and they're just gonna leave that open box and just sit there. And so uh, eventually they just, they give up, send them to us. So this thing isn't just good for testing lights, we test all sorts of stuff. We get ceiling fans, and uh, whoops, turn it on, you can see it's spinning, this thing's working just great. Problem with this ceiling fan, somebody got it and they probably broke the glass. It looks like they did try to install it. Um, they return it for broken glass, but clearly if they twisted the wires together like this, they're the ones that broke the glass. So someone buys it, they break it themselves and they return it. So this is a pretty cool looking fan. I like it actually. Um, I don't like the glass cover. I think it's kind of ugly. The rest of the fan I like. Um, we can probably find another piece like this and we'll, we'll put it on there if we see one. So we kind of keep these sitting around for parts. 
This is not one that you can do with or without the kit. This needs the light kit, so we can't sell it like this. Um, but we get a lot of them that are kind of like convertible, one or the other, and then we will just sell them without the glass. Okay. So most of the time they're good, but sometimes we actually do get a bad one. So this little flush mount ceiling light LED, uh, we got it hooked up, we hit the button, we got nothing. It actually has all the different settings for the different colors on the back here, which I don't really, uh, I don't really care for. Uh, I wish it was like a remote so you could change it. I get it though, if you if you want that color in your house, you're gonna set it and forget it. But if you ever, if you have the older lights and they're kind of yellowish, you have a warm soft light, and then in the future you decide that you really like the daylight, you, you literally have to take this light off your ceiling and that would suck. Okay. 